It is uh, tuberculosis and syphilis. Uh, yeah, this uh, lecture um, is going to help you uh, with uh, these diseases. Um, I have to cover basic must know stuff or oh, stuff, stuff, uh, stuff <laughs> case based review uh, tuberculosis, primary, secondary, uh, syphilis, primary, secondary, secondary, tertiary. tertiary. Yeah, so we have to talk about them a little bit. So let's start with sir, the basic uh, things sir, you have to know. A uh, screening chest radiograph of an asymptomatic uh, 70, uh, uh, 37 year old man shows uh, a 3 centimeter nodule in the middle lobe of his right lung. The nodule is excised with a pulmonary wedge resection and uh, sectional lean shows a sharply circumscribed mass with a salt white center. Uh, the microscopic appearance is shown in the figure. The serum interferon gamma release assay is positive. Which of the following pathologic processes has most likely occurred in this nodule? Yeah, I, I wanted to answer, guys. I wanted to answer uh, while I'm uh, discussing this uh, case. So you see that uh, uh, the localization of uh, this lesion was uh, um, chest cavity. Uh, then they show you that uh, it's nodule. It's not a cyst. It's not uh, a, mm, some fluid. Uh, Explanation. That's uh, just nodule. Uh, then you see that uh, in the center uh, they have revealed uh, soft uh, whitish material. Soft whitish material. What is that? What is that? Do you know? Caseous necrosis. Yes, sir. They, uh, they discussed uh, caseous necrosis, sir. Uh, let's return to the basics, sir. Uh, we have two ways of necrosis. Coagulative, uh, when uh, um, tissues are dry out, uh, dry up, if you will. Uh, and liquefactive uh, when they melt, melt, yeah? Okay, and so we have some uh, kinds of necrosis, uh, uh, for instance, uh, fibro necrosis, uh, that is uh, uh, coagulated necrosis in vessels, uh, fat necrosis, uh, uh, that is coagulated necrosis in uh, fat, in adipose tissue. And uh, that duration is a prototype of coagulative necrosis in uh, muscles. Um, Sequestrum, coagulative necrosis in uh, uh, bone tissue. Uh, infection might be either coagulative in most organs or liquefactive in brain or intestine. Uh, so, the same with gangrene. Uh, you see that uh, in most in most cases it, it must be moist or wet. Uh, it might be normal in uh, immunocompromised people or bad thirst. Uh, and uh, occasionally we see the uh, dry uh, gangrene, dry gangrene, dry uh, blackish uh, tissue. And caseous uh, cheese necrosis is something between coagulative and liquefactive uh, uh, ones. Uh, so it's not uh, dense enough for coagulative necrosis, it's not uh, liquid uh, to call that liquefactive. So that's uh, something between, something between, yes, and cheesy necrosis. A 32 year old uh, um, woman has had a chronic cough uh, with fever for the past month. Sir. On physical examination, her temperature is 37.5 degrees Celsius. A chest radiograph shows sir, many small, ill-defined nodular opacities sir, in all lung fields. A transbronchial biopsy specimen shows sir, interstitial infiltrates with lymphocytes, sir, plasma cells, and epithelioid macrophages. 
Uh, which of the following infectious agents is the most likely cause of this occurrence? Again, you see that her, the, their uh, system involved is a uh, pulmonary system, lungs. Uh, you see that her, uh, for the past month, so I, I guess it's a chronic. It's a chronic condition. Then you see a small, ill-defined nodular opacities in all lung fields, sir. Small, ill-defined nodular opacities in all lung fields, sir. Um, so, what are those? What are those? Um, a trans bronchial biopsy specimen shows in here. So, lymphocytes, plasma cells, and fluid macrophages. It must be. It must be what? It must be what? Can you answer please, sir? Can you answer please this question? Can you answer? Yeah. D. Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Yes, it is. <laughs> Mycobacterium tuberculosis, of course. And yes, yeah, sir. You know, in tuberculosis, sir, uh, we can see a lot of granulomas. Uh, single granulomas, granuloma is uh, too small uh, to see grossly, to see with naked eyes. But uh, when uh, three granulomas uh, are confluent, um, they create uh, their military like uh, lesion, military like lesion, small uh, military like lesion. Uh, which of the following dishes do you prefer? Sugar with porridge or porridge with sugar? Uh, yeah, again, I, I want you to answer and I expect. Uh, you know, uh, I do like. Uh, the questions like this, sir. Uh, they, they, they can uh, make you think uh, in another way. In another way, uh, they can show you some uh, similarities between uh, the processes you see outside, uh, out there, yeah, and uh, the processes uh, in, uh, in the organism. Uh, so, what do you prefer, guys? Sir? What do you prefer? Um, um, I personally uh, do like uh, porridge with sugar. Porridge with sugar. Oh, Benjamin answer it. B. Porridge with sugar. Yes, that's that's right, that's uh, correct. Uh, and uh, of course, sir, uh, I notice uh, who is uh, the most active student. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. So you see, sugar is porridge uh, implies <laughs> that uh, you have to uh, take uh, a lot of uh, sugar and uh, just uh, a spoon of porridge. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. <laughs> porridge with sugar is uh, an opposite uh, situation. Opposite situation uh, we do like more. Yeah, B. Yeah. Uh, the same with her uh, uh, cells are uh, mentioned. Uh, order matters, sir. Uh, order matters, sir. Uh, lymphocytes, plasma cells, and uh, epithelial macrophages, tuberculosis. Plasma cells, epithelial macrophages, lymphocytes. It might be syphilis. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, why? Um, I guess, sir, uh, plasma cells are. Um, so important uh, for uh, the reactions against uh, Tupanema pallidum, spirocats, sir, uh, that uh, they are uh, put first. Uh, they are more numerous sir, uh, in the lesions, sir. Uh, um, opposite uh, in uh, tuberculosis, you know, we can find uh, their antibodies against mycobacterium tuberculosis. We can find them. It means that her plasma cells are, uh, are going to rest <laughs> when uh, um, in, in, in the organism uh, suffering from TB. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, okay, the granuloma scheme. Yeah, you see necrosis in sulfur, caseous necrosis there. Uh, then epithelioid cells. Uh, you see they um, they hug each other. <laughs> uh, they are uh, um, mates uh, and uh, they want to be closer to each other uh, all the time, uh, making something like fans uh, there. Uh, and uh, you see that uh, this pattern when uh, um, cells are close, so closer, is similar to epithelial cells. Epithelial cells, they are not. They are macro macrophage um, adjacent cells. Uh, macrophage uh, preceder, preceder um, epithelial cells. Uh, so we have to call them epithelioid, epithelioid cells, epithelioid cells. Um, then look at uh, those cells. Uh, they are land hand cells, land hand cells. Yeah, uh, multinuclear giant cells uh, with a uh, horseshoe pattern, horseshoe pattern. Yeah, they, uh, they they like this description uh, um, for for some reason, <laughs> for some what reason. Um, okay, and then lymphocytes, and then lymphocytes. So that's her. Uh, uh, nature review immunology. In a study that uh, examines uh, granuloma formation in the lung in response to infection with microtherm tuberculosis, it's observed that some cells within the granuloma express MH C class uh, 2 antigens. Uh, this class uh, 2 antigen Bearing uh, cells are most likely derived from which of the following peripheral blood leukocytes. Sir. And again, can you? Yeah, yeah, just a small amount. Yeah, that's right. Sir. Uh, another, yeah, but uh, in that uh, question, um, for some what reason, yeah, they mentioned plasma cells sir, um, on the second place. I don't know why here. Uh, in most uh, quote one questions, sir, uh, they mention epithelial cells, uh, giant cells, and uh, lymphocytes, sir, uh, highlighting uh, uh, ra rather the structure of granuloma from center to the periphery than uh, the um, number of uh, cells, the number of cells. Okay, you know. CD4 B lymphocytes. CD4 B lymphocytes. Uh, again, look at this question. Um, it explains her uh, uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis, so that's about tuberculosis, sir, obviously. Um, and uh, they talk about uh, MHC class 2 antigens. Antigens, so. Uh, do you like this kind of question, sir? Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> yeah, so why? <laughs> why? Because, sir, if you don't know their answer, you can't uh, guess, sir, for sure. You can't guess for sure. Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it must be C. Monocytes, sir. Monocytes, sir, have uh, MHC plus two antigens, sir. Look at uh, the next uh, slide. Uh, major histocompatibility complex, sir. Uh, has two classes, sir. Class one, uh, all the cells, sir, in my body. Uh, have uh, this kind of uh, molecules. Uh, um, all of them, all of them present uh, uh, endogenous uh, peptides uh, to macrophages or uh, to um, other you know, uh, competent cells. In uh, competent cells, uh, but uh, uh, just uh, macrophages. Uh, as opposed to, to um, 
phagocyte uh, um, some exogenous uh, material, sir, some exogenous uh, mass, uh, and then present uh, this mass to other cells. So, uh, this question about uh, macrophages presenting their mycobacterial uh, antigens to T cells. Yeah, next story. Next story. A 31 year old man has had cough with a low grade fever and a 4 kg weight loss over the course of 3 months. On physical examination, his temperature um, is 37.5 degrees Celsius. A laboratory study show anemia of chronic disease. A bone marrow biopsy is performed and the microscopic appearance is shown in the figure. An acid fast stain of this tissue is positive. The grip infectious agent is most likely being destroyed by which of the following mechanisms, sir. So please, sir, present your opinion. Um, I would like uh, to see your opinion uh, while I am discussing this case. Uh, cough, again, that's uh, a story about tuberculosis, a story about uh, the lung involvement uh, with uh, a low grade fever and weight loss, uh, uh, quite typical uh, for tuberculosis. Uh, um, again, chronic disease, uh, so uh, they have uh, found uh, acid uh, frost uh, staying positive for uh, uh, microorganisms. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Kijan uh, said uh, B, elaboration of phonetic oxide by macrophages. That's right. <laughs> That's right, uh, my translation, sir, to uh, Tijan, <laughs> elaboration of nitric oxide by macrophages, sir. That's uh, a story. So, again, you see there, um, granuloma in uh, bone marrow, bone tissue there, and bone marrow in uh, there. Uh, you see there uh, adipocytes, sir, and there are probably some elements of uh, uh, bone marrow there. Uh, along with sir, the granuloma I've uh, mentioned. Uh, so, complement mediated lysis sir, um, is there a common mechanism against sir, extracellular microorganisms, sir. Uh, extracellular microbes, sir. Yeah. Um, why? Because complement is a, a, a protein. It's a, it uh, contains a nine or so molecules, sir, peptides, sir, uh, that cannot uh, um, get uh, their mycobacteria when they are intracellular. They are intracellular instead. Uh, duration of uh, NADPH dependent oxygen free radicals, sir. Um, ether, uh, it's done by neutrophils, sir, in uh, pure inflammation, but you see in granuloma, sir, neutrophils, sir, um, are absent. Yeah, glucocytosis by azrophils. Yeah, azrophils are uh, nothing about uh, tuberculosis uh, and glomus at all. Uh, super excited formation within father lysosomes, sir. Uh, the matter of fact is that <laughs> uh, mycobacteria prevents the father lysosomes from formation. Yeah, so it's uh, uh, not found in uh, and macrophages. They are not found. Um, a little bit about uh, this microorganism, obligator, iraps, sir. They do like uh, their um, 
highly ventilated, uh, better ventilated upper lobe, sir, um, and prefer lungs, of course. Recuation disease prefers open oxia facultative intracellular pathogen. So they can leave her both sir, extracellularly and extracellularly. They are hidden from uh, um, our immune system when they are in macrophages. Um, yeah. mm. About their mm, my, my biological properties, yeah. So uh, they uh, don't uh, stay well with uh, gram stain due to mycolic acid, sir, um, along with other lipids, sir, in the cellular wall. Uh, but uh, they have uh, the special acid fast uh, technique to differentiate her, uh, to distinguish her uh, as this uh, mycobacteria from. Uh, um, other microorganisms, sir. So um, they stay with a uh, special highly concentrated uh, dye. Uh, then they decolorize, decolorize uh, acid fast negative cells, sir, and uh, uh, counter stain in green color. For example, I think uh, um, acid fast negative cells. Acid fast positive cells are still red or pink in this picture. <laughs> so uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah. Uh, tuberculosis is an ancient disease. <laughs> um, yeah. To be or not to be. <laughs> Probably in the draft uh, version it was uh, uh, TB or not TB, yeah? tuberculosis or not tuberculosis. Yeah? So uh, we are struggling with this question <laughs> all the time. Uh, also, giving a side, tuberculosis has uh, an old name consumption. Consumption, why? Because of cachexia, because of uh, uh, the way to loss uh, the patients uh, um, uh, like the patients are uh, notice uh, they died of consumption. Henry, Louis, Louis, yeah, so a lot of people, famous and, and not in, uh, millions, sir, millions of people die and died. <laughs> uh, the reason of, uh, uh, of this name, tubercle, is a small nodule, is a small nodule. Uh, tuberculosis is a disease with small nodules, with these small nodules. Um, a five-year-old child is exposed to microbacterial tuberculosis. A month later, the child's uh, tuberculin skin test is positive. The, ch the child then develops uh, fever, inspiratory stridor, and non-productive cough. Which of the following findings is most likely to be present uh, on the chest radiograph of this child? <laughs> yeah, so again, this story about uh, uh, tuberculosis. Uh, uh, he was uh, exposed to microbacterial tuberculosis. Uh, he inhaled it. Uh, um, this story is about uh, a child. Uh, do you know the answer? Do you know the answer? Uh, let me know. Um, tuberculin skin test is positive, so again, he was uh, infected, uh, um, obviously. Uh, the child has fever, inspiratory stridor, and non-productive cough. So, what's the answer? Yeah, uh, you, you think uh, uh, millinery pulmonary nodules. Uh, um, that's uh, quite uncommon nowadays, uh, these days, uh, 
we can see some a uh, water. Yeah, again, the 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 millery pulmonary nodules. No, that's wrong. The right answer is Hala lymphadenopathies. Hala lymphadenopathies. A correct answer is there. Uh, why? Let me explain. Uh, what happens after exposure? What happens after exposure? So most, most people um, are clear without any notice. <laughs> without any notice. Yeah? So they, they don't know that uh, they had any contact with uh, microterm tuberculosis. Uh, nothing happened to them. Uh, in some cases, sir, uh, it's not noticed, uh, but uh, uh, the bacteria are still alive, uh, are still alive, survive uh, in uh, in the lungs, sir. Uh. So they didn't not they didn't notice uh, their infection, but uh, the bacteria are still in the macrophages, they are still be there, contained, contained by immune system. And just uh, um, a small number of cases, uh, probably 10%, I don't know, uh, is about uh, primary tuberculosis. Is about primary tuberculosis. And uh, <laughs> millery, millery, that's uh, uh, this word is uh, misspelled, yeah. Millery tuberculosis uh, uh, is a, a rare form, rare form of, of primary tuberculosis. Then, you see, uh, primary tuberculosis can finish with a latent infection and then reactivate. That's a, a great scheme. This time to take a, a screenshot. Take a screenshot right now, yeah? So, do so, please, sir. Do so. Take a screenshot, please, sir. Okay. Uh, how about her pathophysiology? Um, first week, uh, mycobacterium in fact, sir. Macrophages, sir. Uh, they are phagocytized uh, by macrophages. Um, Intercellular bacterial proliferation, so they don't uh, um, waste time. <laughs> they um, have a farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, have fun. Uh, two to four weeks, sir. Cell mediated immune system controls to be because of uh, activation of CD4 plus T cells, sir. Interferon gamma secreted, activated macrophages and cytotoxic T lymphocytes. So our response, uh, our response depends on CD4 plus cells. Primary to B, mainly disease of childhood or chemo patients. So when uh, their immune response isn't uh, complete. Or is it a major uh, ineffective immune response? A gradual onset, weeks, 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 with fever, cough, pleuritic, uh, chest pain, fatigue, acongeous. Handler lymphadenopathy is a common, is a, the most common. Uh, uh, type of uh, primary tuberculosis uh, these days. Uh, six way uh, often normal, often normal, but in this case you see the enlarged lymph nodes. You see the enlarged lymph nodes where? In the hallow, where the bronchi uh, entry uh, coming uh, the lungs. So you see higher lymphadenopathy, and it explains uh, the strider, or strider, 
you have seen in uh, in that case in the in the case uh, discussed uh, previously. So they can uh, compress. They might compress uh, the adjusted bronchi with uh, the specific sound called uh, streeter, I think. Occurs as early as one week after infection. Results slowly over months to years. So uh, you see the higher lymphadenopathy. Again. A previously healthy 20 year old woman has had a low grade fever for the past two weeks. On vehicle examination, her temperature is 37.7 degrees Celsius. There are no other remarkable findings, sir. The gross appearance of the lung shown in the figure is representative of your disease. Which of the following laboratory studies is most likely to report a positive result? Yeah, so which one, which test, sir, uh, we should apply? Uh, again, young women, young women, yeah. Uh, with a uh, chronic uh, fever. On this picture, in this picture, you can see, you can see what? You can see what? You can see caseous mass subplurally, subplurally, uh, just below the pleura. And the same cases uh, mass uh, is seen in uh, the higher lymph nodes. Uh, in the higher lymph nodes, uh, obtaining uh, the lymph uh, from this uh, primary focus. Uh. So, what's your answer? Yes, ring. That's her uh, interferon gamma release assay. Uh, this one is uh, uh, known as uh, uh, the most specific laboratory test for tuberculosis. The most specific laboratory test. Oh, we mentioned that before. Um, gone for sorry. Gone for sorry. They are going to know us. Subplural. Yes, you see that clearly in, in, in this picture. Uh, Mid to lower lung, sir. Yeah, so they, they like the place, sir, just above um, the pleura in uh, the upper lobe or uh, just below the pleura in the middle or lower lobe in that uh, space. Sir. Uh, gone for side plus lymph node equal gone complex. Gone complex. Calcified gone complex equal ranky complex. Yeah, so uh, they can persist and uh, uh, they can reactivate uh, in a while. In a while. When? 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 Timothy, when? When do they reactivate? Uh, when uh, the immune system is depressed, when the immune system is uh, broken and cannot contain this uh, mycobacteria. Uh, primary TB resolution. Most patients uh, control infection. Disease heals uh, living fibrosis, immunity develops, repeated uh, positive, yeah, uh, sometimes completely clear, sir, but uh, uh, in most, uh, in a layer, in lion share uh, of, of cases, sir, uh, we see the Latin phase, sir, Latin phase, world of infection. Where patients have expanded illness with miliary dissemination or cavity referrals. So that's possible there. Miliary tuberculosis with heterogeneous spread of TB. Uh, that is possible when uh, 
the immune system is depressed, or when the immune system cannot contain infection. Progressive primary infection or reactivation. So it might be a, a, a kind of a, a primary infection or secondary infection. Nearly any organ system can be involved. Bones, liver, CNS, heart, skin. Yeah, we can see that. Let's look at this story. A 41-year-old man has had worsening fever, cough and dyspnea for two, two weeks. Sir. On examination he has rails and diminished breath sounds sir, on auscultation of his chest. A chest radiograph shows sir, scattered infiltrates in both lungs. A tubercle skin test shows sir, 6 mm sir, of induration. A sputum sample is negative, but bronchoalveolar leverage is positive for acid fast bacilli. Here, sir, white blood cell count is uh, 4,600 uh, uh, per millimeter uh, cubic. We, sir, uh, differential uh, count of uh, 80% uh, neutrophils, uh, 10% lymphocytes, and 10% monocytes. We show the following is a much likely risk factor for his pulmonary disease. Do you know that? Do you know that? HIV infection. And dear, oh, thanks for your answer. Thanks for your answer, dear. Yeah, that's right, sir. HIV infection is seen in this case. Sir. You see, uh, cough, dyspnea, their lung involvement, uh, rails, diminished breath sounds, sir, uh, suggest, sir, suggest uh, the consolidation, the pneumonia, the pneumonia, sir. serious pneumonia in the um, in lungs, sir, uh, infiltrates in both lungs, so infiltrates her um, uh, opacities we see in lungs, sir, um, over once meter in diameter. Uh, the skin test is negative in this case, sir. Uh, and again, look at uh, the microbiology of uh, infection, sir, um, better. So that's uh, quite important in uh, uh, quote one questions in uh, step one questions. So acid fa fast bacilli, we've uh, mentioned them. Uh, yeah, and there, 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 HIV infection, yes. HIV infection uh, um, allowed uh, to microterra tuberculosis sir, uh, to be reactivated, to reactivate her. So it allowed, it permitted, it permitted. Reactivation of microbacterial tuberculosis can develop in HIV infection, mostly, uh, or when someone uh, takes her TNF alpha inhibitors, drugs, yeah, so, um, Doctors uh, have to uh, rule out uh, tuberculosis uh, um, prescribing these drugs and uh, diabetes, diabetes, sir. Uh. Oh, yeah. A 41 year old man has had worsening uh, fever, cough, and dyspnea for two weeks, sir. Uh. On examination, he has rails and diminished breast sounds on auscultation of his... So, the same story, isn't it? <laughs> the same story, but another question. Which of the following is the most likely form of TB in this case, sir? What's the most, sir, the most possible color? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. Can you answer? Can you answer? What it uh, can be, what it can be. Actually, I didn't write uh, the answer I would choose, sir. Uh, uh, but anyway, you can answer.
answer one. Which one is correct? So look at the word infiltrator. Scratch word infiltrates in both lungs. In both lungs. What it can be? What can it be? What can it be? Disseminated again. Thanks for FD. Thanks for FD. Disseminated tuberculosis. Um, it might be infiltrated one. It might be infiltrated tuberculosis. But you see, it uh, it's not given. It's not given. Uh, even though infiltrated tuberculosis is uh, uh, the most likely option, is the most likely option. But I didn't give it. <laughs> um, disseminated, disseminated, of course. Uh, let's talk about the terminology. Radiologists like uh, you. You don't uh, like uh, focus, sir. Is consolidation up to one centimeter in diameter? Infiltrate is consolidation or one centimeter in diameter, like uh, those uh, infiltrates, uh, those infiltrates or those fossil, fossil. Yeah, TB is fossil, equifocal and fibrous focal. They both sir, uh, imply uh, the fossil less than one centimeter in diameter. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to repeat, but probably you have you haven't uh, uh, remember uh, completely. Um, uh, they involve up to two segments. And uh, what distinguishes them is uh, the uh, softness uh, of epifocal tuberculosis. So, epifocal tuberculosis uh, uh, is uh, the first stage, yeah, that's, uh, that's like uh, the beginning stage of tuberculosis in most cases. Um, it's uh, a serous pneumonia. Serious pneumonia, uh, semi lucent uh, opacity, semi lucent opacity must be. Uh, fibrous focal tuberculosis uh, appears uh, a little bit uh, later uh, in uh, several weeks uh, uh, when sclerosis, fibrosis is seen um, and uh, the density of opacity is, uh, is uh, higher. Higher, yeah, and uh, when uh, fossil are disseminated, uh, we have to call that uh, tuberculosis disseminated one, disseminated tuberculosis. Then uh, um, a scheme you can struggle with uh, if I uh, didn't uh, explain. Infiltrated tuberculosis with infiltrates. After the necrosis, after the chronic necrosis, we can call that so called caseous pneumonia. However, in infiltrated tuberculosis, we can see some uh, caseous mass uh, in, um, in these infiltrates uh, uh, as well. So that's confusing probably in some uh, textbooks. Uh, they uh, away this term uh, at all. Um, after this encapsulation, you see the uh, well circumscribed lesion in lung, so it must be tuberculoma resembling cancer, resembling cancer. Tuberculoma, why? Because it resembles cancer, uh, peripheral cancer of lung. Then, uh, cases pneumonia or uh, cases mass uh, might be uh, rejected. Might be rejected. Do you need cases mass? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't need it. So uh, it's a, a way to reject uh, cases uh, necrotic. Uh, uh, master through but through bronchi through bronchi 
with the formation of uh, small cavities, uh, small cavities, acute cavity tuberculosis. As uh, the walls of uh, uh, cavities are uh, uh, healed, we see the fibrous cavity tuberculosis. And then, after the excessive scarring, you can call that cirrhotic tuberculosis. Cirrhotic tuberculosis. Cirrhosis you see not just in the um, in the liver, um, as uh, someone might think, and it uh, it it can be seen in uh, kidney nephrocirrhosis or in lungs pneumocirrhosis alike. If you are coughing and people think you have coronavirus, just continue coughing until you cough with blood. People will think you have to be and everything will be okay. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, you know, hemoptysis, the most common feature of uh, tuberculosis, the most common feature of it. Um, you can read about it in uh, the uh, fashion literature. You can see that uh, uh, writers, were, writers were aware of this feature. They were aware of uh, tuberculosis uh, uh, as a disease with uh, blood dispute. And uh, um, can you expect uh, this hemoptysis in infiltrated tuberculosis? Can you expect it in cases pneumonia? Can you expect it uh, in tuberculoma? Can you expect it in cirrhotic tuberculosis? Uh, I think uh, you don't. You can't. And. Uh, Two firms, sir, in which uh, hemoptysis is common are acute cavitary tuberculosis and fibrous cavitary tuberculosis. So in them you can predict uh, hemoptysis with a uh, um, like uh, with a abundant uh, sputum, and this uh, sputum contains uh, mycobacteria. So these firms are called destructive, destructive firms. And uh, the people with them are, um, are considered to be con contagious, contagious. What else? A 33-year-old man has not uh, uh, asymmetric enlargement of the stratum over the past four months. On physical examination, the right testis is twice uh, its normal size and it has increased tenderness to palpation. The right testis is biopsied. The abdomen and the upper aspect of the right testis has extensive dermatosis inflammation with epithelial cells, lung cancer, giant cells, and caseous necrosis. Which of the following infections is the most likely cause of these uh, findings? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sir. So I want you to answer. I want you to answer, I think uh, you have to think over a little bit. Uh, so that's uh, a chronic disorder in scrotum, in testis. Um, yeah, you know, uh, the testicles are asymmetric uh, all the time. One of them is uh, smaller, one of them is larger. Uh, one of them is uh, lower, one of them is upper, yeah, blocks now, <laughs> yeah, girls don't, <laughs> Go, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't think uh, that uh, they can notice uh, this uh, asymmetry uh, before, 
Um, okay, so t tenderness to palpation, so some kind of pain. Uh, yes, biopsy fluid cells, Lacan cells, and cases and crashes. So that's right, guys, sir. The first one, water. Uh, who? Who, who, who? Salini. Salini. Congratulations. Congratulations, yeah. Uh, so it was tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. So um, most uh, people think that uh, tuberculosis uh, is confined with uh, lungs, uh, but uh, you have seen uh, uh, microterm tuberculosis uh, uh, can uh, uh, travel to other uh, organs uh, via blood, via blood, and then after the predisposing factor influencer, you can expect the reactivation of uh, uh, of uh, those, reactivation of uh, microbacteria and uh, tuberculosis. Oh, hopefully <laughs> the features are same. The features are same. So histologically, we see the same uh, story. It can be wherever blood vessels are. You know, our famous uh, pie dresser. Uh, let's say Ukraine car. Uh, her portrait is printed uh, on the banknote of uh, to 200 to Grimen. Yeah, so you see that uh, she was suffering from tuberculosis uh, for a long time. Um, specifically from uh, tuberculosis of uh, uh, bones and joints. So their um, their uh, disease of spine, I guess. Sir. Yeah. So that's uh, a story you can remember about our country while you live here. Oh, spirochet, <laughs> spirochet, her spirochetus. No. Uh, a twenty-year-old man who has multiple sexual partners and does not use barrier precautions, sir, has had a non-tender ulcer on his penis, sir, for the past week. On physical examination, sir. Uh, 0.6 uh, centimeter lesion has a firm etymatous base and sharply demarcated borders. The lesion is uh, scraped uh, and microscopic dark field examination is positive for motile spirochetes, uh, which of the following inflammatory processes uh, is most likely to accompany this uh, infection. Yeah, so again, I want you to answer. Uh, multiple sexual partners, sir. It's a risk factor for sexually transmitted diseases, sir. Uh, aren't they? Say, uh, risk factor. It's a risk factor, yeah. Especially when you, you don't use condoms, when you don't use uh, the barrier precautions, precautions. <laughs> uh, I wear a mask as a, a precaution uh, against coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, so, um, not an ulcer, it's called the uh, chancre, chancre. Yes, yes, it is, it is something, it's a perivascular inflammation with plasma cells. Motile spirochets are tiponema pallidum. pallidum. Sexual, sexual transmitted can see spirochets by dark field microscopy. Dark field and some. Uh, enemies are mm, floating there, <laughs> are floating there, are swimming there. 
She will only to spare her, sir. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Pango received police her is seen uh, two to three weeks after exposure after the sexual intercourse with uh, a stranger, <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, to clarify here, uh, I I didn't uh, put any uh, pictures uh, uh, you can affair. Yeah, so I I don't like uh, uh, the pornography. <laughs> so I show you the author, uh, painless Shankar, uh, on the leaf. It might be anywhere, in fingers, in a uh, uh, channel, <laughs> in a uh, uh, panic, typically, classically on the panic, um, in, uh, uh, in the female genital tract, of course, uh, vaginal. Uh, usually one to the meters in the metro, raised. Uh, uh, often unnoticed, uh, they are painless, uh, and uh, you know, uh, women cannot notice uh, their painless ulcer uh, in their cervix uterine, for example. So, disease can progress uh, them. A uh, 52 54 year old man presents with. Uh, a worsening skin rash of uh, 10 days in duration. Physical examination shows her uh, an extensive uh, dysphematic macular papular rash of the palms and uh, of the palms and soles shown in the image. The video RL and 58 uh, tests are post positive. Which of the following lesions sir, is also expected in this patient at this stage of his disease? Sir? Do you know what can you notice sir, on this stage? Uh, answer please, sir. Would you like to answer first? Yeah, so you see this person is, uh, is uh, a little bit older than the previous one and uh, uh, you see rash you see rash uh, chronic rash in him what's important in this uh, rash is uh, the expansion uh, to palms and soles uh, palm right like this one with uh, the elements of rash uh, scattered over uh, fingers and uh, uh, the entire palm No, guys, sir, you confused, you confused. Actually, that, sir, not the uh, primary syphilis, that, sir, the secondary syphilis. Secondary syphilis. It means that uh, Shankar healed, Shankar healed, uh, Shankar must uh, heal before the secondary syphilis. Uh, it must heal, so Shankar cannot be seen in uh, the in at this stage of his disease at the uh, secondary syphilis, sir. But you can answer C and the teretaser obliterates and the teretaser in the teretis. Obliterance. Yeah, so inflammation, inflammation in arteries, sir, uh, with the proliferation of uh, endothelium, the proliferation of endothelium, obliterating, obliterating the vessels, obliterating the vessels. Secondary syphilis is associated with uh, macular papular rash, rash. Uh, covers all extremities, including palms and soles, sir. That's quite specific. Flu-like symptoms, fever, headache, malaise, sir. Thoughts around, malgia, sir. Condylometal latter, large, raised, red, white lesions in 
moist areas. Inside mouth, perineum, open close to shankri, may reflect a dark spread, dark spread of uh, this infection. So we can find a tipanema pallidum there. So uh, if you need uh, the material uh, to obtain from uh, the person with syphilis, uh, choose either shantri or condemned metal letter. Uh, they have a lot of microorganisms, sir. Yeah. Sex, show me a palm first, sir. <laughs> yeah, so probably that, sir. Uh, my piece of advice, sir, for you, yeah, so. Uh, you, you should uh, uh, fear the people who uh, wear um, gloves, uh, not just uh, uh, to uh, protect uh, themselves uh, from coronavirus, uh, but also uh, to hide uh, their rash uh, um, on palms, on palms, yeah. Most uh, macular papular rashes uh, spare palms uh, and soles. Uh, three that don't. Syphilis, quite common even these days. Rock mountain spotted fever, it's not. <laughs> uh, Kazaki virus, hand foot mouth disease, it's uh, seen in childhood. Childhood disease. With hand, foot, mouth uh, manifestations. Exactly. A longitudinal study of men, of men and women who have developed their aortic root dilatation and aortic insufficiency in adulthood is performed. They have a history of unprotected sexual intercourse with multiple partners multiple partners again. Which of the following stages is most likely to be proven in these people, in these uh, persons? So, answer please, sir, what do you think about this story? About this story? About this story? Okay, so aortic root dilatation and uh, dilation and aortic insufficiency in adulthood. Uh, so, uh, that's about uh, the involvement of a uh, uh, water, the involvement of a uh, water, and uh, uh, you see that uh, th these people had uh, uh, the risk factor for sexually transmitted diseases, for sexually transmitted diseases. So, what is that? Can you guess? Offer something, please. Don't you sleep out there? Do you? I want to see the, the first answer. Probably you have answered, but oh, yeah. Tash, tash your syphilis. Tertiary syphilis, that's it, yeah. Tertiary syphilis is uh, uh, associated with uh, either or both gammas and uh, gammatose infiltrates. Gammas are uh, gammatomas, sir, uh, seen in uh, uh, any, any organ, skin, liver. Liver is uh, mentioned. Uh, uh, Often times in MCQs, often mistaken for tumors, sir, because of the mass, sir, uh, single mass in liver. So you you could uh, think about a tumor, obviously. Um, uh, Gametose infiltrator, same cells but scattered over organ. Uh, Autitis, vasovasor inflammation. Risk of aortic dissection, some changes in aorta, 
neurosyphilis, many, many manifestations, uh, meningitis, dementia, nerve pulses. So a lot of changes, but uh, they must be in years after their exposure. Years after the exposure. An infant born at term to a 33 year old woman is really hydropic. All clinical determinations there is a diffuse rash with sloppy skin on the palms and soles. Within two days, the infant dies of respiratory distress. At autopsy, there is marked hepatosplenomegaly. Microscopic examination of the femur and vertebra shows periostitis and osteochondritis. Uh, the lungs have nodular masses with central necrosis uh, surrounded by monoclear leukocytes, palisodic macrophages, and fibroblasts. A serologic test the result for which of the following agents is most likely to be positive in the infant's mother. So, uh, what uh, can you expect, sir? Which disease can you expect in this story? In this story? In this story? What is a, a, a disease, sir? So, look, uh, sloppy skin on, on the palms and soles, like uh, uh, capture it there. So sloughing the skin on the palms and soles. Also, hepatosplenomegaly is uh, uh, seen the, uh, the extreme enlargement of liver and spleen, inflammation in uh, bones, uh, and uh, nodular masses in lungs with central necrosis surrounded by monoclonal cells of some granulomas, some granulomas. Mm, no, no, that, that must be syphilis, that must be syphilis, yeah. The same story, but uh, I, I wanted to answer what kind of syphilis it uh, must be. What kind, what kind of syphilis sir, do you expect? Sir? What kind of syphilis, sir, uh, what kind of syphilis do you write uh, in the clinical case, sir, in, in the case history? Uh, again, you see that uh, this story started uh, um, in, in a while um, after the uh, birth. Uh, it's not uh, in uh, adulthood, it's not about uh, the uh, teenager, yeah, that's about her. Uh, early congenital syphilis. Uh, thanks, uh, Manisha. Thanks, Manisha. Yeah, congenital syphilis might be early or late. Early congenital syphilis, sir. Uh, with a uh, stillborn uh, fetus sir, or premature delivery with hepatosplenomegaly, pneumonia, and skeletal and abnormalities, sir. And uh, in, uh, in the mild cases, sir, you can see a runny nose, snuffles, snuffles. Yeah, so that's uh, um, a variety, a variety of. Uh, um, changes uh, we can expect uh, due to the infection uh, uh, throughout uh, the pregnancy in women. Throughout the pregnancy in women, late congenital syphilis, sir, uh, when uh, um, the woman uh, got infected uh, um, in just before the delivery or some weeks before the delivery with uh, three uh, characteristic uh, typical features interstitial keratitis with uh, blindness blindness uh, ITR for uh, 
uh, injury was neuritis with deafness, with deafness. And malformed teeth, sir. Hutchinson incisors and mulberry molars, malformed teeth, barrel shaped teeth. Uh, they all are called the uh, Hutchinson uh, triad. Hutchinson triad. Yeah, that was uh, the last uh, slider. Thanks for your attention. Thanks for your attendance. Thanks uh, for your thank for your diligence, sir. I do like you, my dear. You are best students ever. Thanks, sir, for for your for your attention. Good luck. Have a good evening.